Previously on Under the Lights. I want to like savor every moment of it. I'm definitely going to take every minute of it and savor it. This is most likely my last time putting pads on ever. I'm going to miss it so much. I don't feel like I should be the oldest kid in the school, but I hear I am and I know it's like so close to being over. My mom moved away and my dad moved away for deportation reasons. That really inspires me to like work as hard as I can for them. Under the Lights is powered by Mayflower Recovery and Rocco's Restaurant and Bar. Quarterback position has been kind of a work in progress, but honestly, Reset, go. Michael Waller's done a great job so far. He really worked hard at it all summer in terms of, you know, a lot of seven on sevens work, and we really kind of tailored the offense to kind of work to his skill set and his strengths. Um, he is not Tom Brady or Peyton Manning by any means, and I think he'll be the first one to tell you that. It's really nerve-wracking. Never played it before, so I have no idea what, how's it going to go. So if you, how did you wind up being the QB if you'd never played it before? Um, probably because I was the only skilled position that was um, returning from last season. Everyone else graduated, so. Oh, so what did you play last year? Fullback. Wow, so that's a, that's a big change. transition, yeah. What his strengths are is he is a great athlete, he's a great runner, he understands how to play varsity level athletics, which I think is a big deal to have out of your quarterback. Um, you know, he's played, he, was a, he started as a freshman in lacrosse. Uh, you know, he played last year as one of the best players on the lacrosse team as a sophomore. He was a great player for us last year and on a very good team as a sophomore in football. So he just gets it. You know, he gets kind of that aspect of like what it means to play in a big game. And I think those attributes are really help him in his, in his new role. together and met and we decided and we kind of made the decision that we were kind of going to go with Colin at quarterback and move Waller to halfback. We didn't really have an actual true quarterback coming into this so the idea was like hey let's just pick our best athlete and put him there. And we've kind of gone away from that just because we want to get the ball in his hands more and 
Uh, we're definitely going to be a more of a running team, uh, and it's n had nothing to do with his performance. He was actually doing a pretty solid job. We just wanted to get him more involved. Colin Allard's going to start for us at quarterback uh, tomorrow. And, and really part of the reason we made the switch at quarterback, one, we wanted to get Lawler the ball more and thought halfback was his more natural position. But like I said, we didn't know what we had for quarterbacks kind of going in. So, you know, obviously we, we have a kid come out, a freshman who's a great athlete and, you know, has really picked it up. Like, I think I texted the kids the night before, you know, preseason open and said, hey, do we have any freshmen that, play, that would like to try quarterback? And he was like, yeah, I'll try it, coach. And he's been fantastic. Uh, you know, he, he, he beat out a couple of old, older guys for the position. And that was part of the reason we decided to kind of go that direction, just because, you know, we thought, look, this kid's really progressing. He's doing a great job for us. Um, let's give him a shot. Like, let's, see, let's see what he can do. Um, so it'll be exciting to see what, see what he, he's had a great week of practice, honestly. He keeps getting better. I, this kid's going to be a stud. A stud in a couple, you know, next year, the year after, he's going to be very good. Um, my name's Colin Allied. I'm the quarterback, and I'm a freshman. Um, there's obviously, like, I'm a little nervous, but I'm also really excited to finally be able to get into a game and hit someone else. Uh, it's exciting. It's just a lot to get used to. Like, practice this week has been a lot more than I'm used to, especially since I've been practicing with the JV guys. I'm obviously nervous, but I'm also really excited to try and just see what I can do. I didn't even really know I was playing quarterback till probably like a week before the season. Being there with all the varsity guys, especially like, they really like just made me feel like I've been part of the team for years. Oh, everyone's just working nice to me. Uh, they just help me a lot. If like, if I make a mistake, they just boost me back up and they just make me feel good. So my dad was, wasn't home yet, but I told my mom and she didn't believe me. So I had to show her the text that coach sent me. And then uh, when my dad got home, he, didn't, he was like all shocked and then, uh, like, I had hockey a couple nights ago, and uh, I showed up there, and uh, I practiced with my uncle. And, he, and like, it's so different now. People just call me QB1. It's, it's, it's like, it's weird. It was probably, I don't know, 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night, and you know, I was, I was sitting, sitting, in, uh, sitting on the couch watching some Seinfeld reruns, and I got a text from uh, uh, Ali Abukal, and he basically said, Coach, I'm with Jacob Broke. He said he wants to play football. Is it too late? texted every single senior individually and I texted uh, Waller who had been playing quarterback and asked them like how they felt about it because if one kid said no they weren't comfortable with it because I, I think you know you go through all the tough part of preseason and then some and then a kid shows up you know day one of game week like yeah you missed all the hard stuff right so I wanted to make sure that all those kids were okay with it um, so I asked them each individually. Every single kid, you know, was like, "Yes, he'll help us." I love Jake. You know, want him on the team. That made my decision easier. So I talked to Jake. Basically said, "Look, here's the deal. You need to have, you know, X amount of practices before you can play. That's not even my rule. That's a state rule. Uh, so you won't be eligible the first two games, uh, and then he'll be eligible for the Bill Ricca week. Um, but he's he's really done a good job for us already. You can see that." natural talent. He's a kid I've been after for, for years. We had him as a freshman. Uh, he's a great athlete. Uh, even back then, like, he was more of a wide receiver type back then, but they didn't have a freshman quarterback, so he was like, yeah, I'll do it, and he did a fantastic job. Um, really tough kid. Uh, so the next, you know, sophomore, his sophomore and junior year, like, the kids will tell you, when it comes to, like, texting and recruiting, like, I, I get after it. Like I've I've been off I've been all over that kid for the last two years, and I understand he's been busy, kind of focusing on baseball in the summer and stuff. But I think he's kind of got the bug. Like, hey, it's my senior year. I want to play with my friends. It's my last chance to play football. I feel like it's a blessing, kind of, kind of be able to have this opportunity and kind of run it back with my with my buddies. So it was kind of like an impulsive decision to not like to stop playing. And then sophomore year was that COVID year. 
I kind of went to a lot of like the JV games because that's where all my friends were. And then um, I went to all the home games last year and kind of throughout junior year, I was like, man, I really should play. And then kind of just like bit the bullet today, or not today, but this year and uh, joined. I'm kind of just my senior year last year to be able to come back, play with some of my buddies I've grown up playing with all my life and kind of give it one more shot. They've kind of taken me in really good. Um, at first I was kind of edgy about it, but then once I got there, they all kind of just like took me in and I feel like I'm a part of the team and not really kind of just that one kid. I said to Colin and I said to Jacob, like those two guys will compete uh, in after week two when Jacob's eligible. Um, in a perfect world, Colin would go play JV and get a year to develop and not have to be pushed into such a tough spot. Uh, and Jacob would be able to handle the reins. But, you know, it's, it's, it's on Jake to kind of go win that spot. Nothing, nothing is kind of handed to him. He still has to go out and earn it. Oh yeah, my fantasy team is ready. I feel like I have, I have three fantasy leagues actually. I'm a big fantasy football guy. Oh yeah, I got two leagues going. We're strong. All right, I'm in. I'm in a lot of leagues. I think I'm in like four leagues, and I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy with all my teams. My fantasy team's all stacked up already. A little bit. I got a fantasy team, but it's not looking good at all. I used to. Then I forgot to put Alva Kamara in when he got 50 points, and I just got too angry to play it again. So I think we're gonna win. And my Colts fan of the Colts. I think we're going to make a nice run in the playoffs this year. My league is mostly uh, the freshman guys, but got Kyler Murray, great quarterback, Justin Jefferson at receiver, going to hold it down. And then I got Nick Chubb and Saquon Barkley to... Uh, well, I got Devontae Adams in my first round in my last draft, and he's always good for fantasy. But uh, most of them I took Justin Jefferson, and I was really happy about that. And um, that's kind of like the guy I've gotten in all my leagues. I got Debo. Debo better go crazy this week. I will, I will not be happy if he doesn't. It's not a good draft. Not drafting a second string running back. I don't even remember. I just remember drafting him. I'm like, oh, why did I draft him? I do not play fantasy football. I do not play. For, that's one thing I do not do. I, I, I have a bad experience. I have a bad experience with fantasy football. Every time I, I play fantasy football, I, I lose. Every time. Every time. I'm not good at it.
so team dinners, um, you know, y'all just kind of show up at somebody's house. This week it's Coleman's, and you know, you just eat, hang out. You know, just kind of, it's just team bonding, like kind of thing. Yeah, it's always a good time. Yeah, sophomores and freshmen out at out a little a little early, so upperclassmen get to chill for a little bit. And um, we just like we order a bunch of food. The cheerleaders come. The football players come. Um, we try not to invite the underclassmen, but the coaches like have us like just to include and it's just good times like we don't have to talk about football we just have fun yeah i'm looking forward to it i'll be the only freshman there which is the only weird thing because the jv game has at the same time but yeah i'm looking to eat the most weigh the least right now weighing the least on the varsity team i think so need to get a little bit bigger i might have to go for the sweets i might have to go for the sweets sweets is my spot i like that we're together you know i like it that how our football brings everyone together it makes everyone work together and as a team uh it's just like the mood there everyone's like happy everyone's excited to play tomorrow and everyone's just like joking out with each other there's sometimes like fire pits there was a pool last year um it's huge for like bonding and everything i witnessed them during basketball we had a couple during baseball and i it's kind of used to relax with the team and kind of prepare for the game that's ahead of you Oh. <laughs> um, there's always Augustus chicken. I'm always trying to get on that. And then once in a while someone will get like Chick-fil-A or something. That's, that's when it's good.
14 on Wildcat Zero. Tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up and I'm going to get to work on Grey Wolf. That's what I'm going to do. 